Hello? Telling you, Hirsch, that's not normal. I'll get an electrician out to check the wiring on Monday. I hope we're not on a ley line. I saw this program on the telly. They run all over the country, connecting sites of ancient power, like Stonehenge and the White Horse. What, the pub on Bishton Street? <laughs> Very funny, aren't you? You should give up teaching and become an undertaker. Uh, where are you off to in such a oh, hurry? Sarah James. Luke's texted me. He can't get an answer. Wants me to check up on her, you know. It's probably nothing. Bye! Phone's probably on the blink. It'll be the ley lines. Here. How many comedy headmasters does it take to change a light bulb? Sarah Jane, what's... that baby doing in your house? Shh. Don't make her cry. She cried earlier. And every light in the house blew. What, in the street, more like? I've got you some the letters, but what do you want nappies for? I sort of feel like that should explain everything, but actually I'm even more confused. Yeah, well, I found her on the doorstep. I was going to call the police, but I don't think they'll have much luck finding her parents. Not on this planet. <coughs> oh, she's tired, tired, right? Luke was born a 13-year-old boy. A teenager I can handle, but a baby, an alien baby. I need help. Don't look at me. Or me, obviously. Yeah, well, your mums must know. If I start asking Mum questions about how to look after a baby, well, she's going to totally freak. <laughs> Besides, she's an alien. What do any of us know? What about Mr Smith? Oh, Mr Smith won't come out. Well, would you if you might get your circuits fried? See, with most babies, all you have to worry about is poo and puke. Yeah, well, this one doesn't blow bubbles. She blows things up. <laughs> <laughs> I only know one way to shut up a baby. See? Happy tummy, happy baby, whatever planet you're from. I've looked after my little cousin a few times. Not that she's an alien. You're a natural, Clyde. Your yeah, little kids are cute, aren't you, Sparky? You think so? I always think babies look a bit rubbery. My mum and dad will be going out their minds with worry. They must be scouring the galaxy. Maybe. Maybe not. Whoever left her on my doorstep, that was no accident. I think someone needs me to protect this baby. Protect her from who? Well, that's what we have to find out before they come looking for her. There are 521,321 CCTV cameras in operation across London, Sarah Jane. It may take some time. Just do it. Maybe he's just taking Sky for a walk. He is at the Summerwell nuclear power station. Well, that didn't take long. I was lucky. It was only the 10,052nd camera I checked. Who is that woman? My name is Miss Myers. That doesn't sound like much of an alien name. We don't spell it the same way. Now give me the child. No, no, no. Answers first. What was that thing back there and why is it after the baby? And what are we doing here? Come on. My child has a destiny. A destiny to change worlds. And that some will do anything to destroy. Oh, what, like Tin Man back there? Mm hmm The metal kind. The enemies of my species. Of all flesh. But I don't get it. She's just a baby. How could you even begin to understand? You might be flesh, but you are Earth flesh. Just a few evolutionary twists from protozoa. 
Now give me my child! I don't think so. Get him! I'm in the middle of a nuclear power station and I'm carrying baby Bang Bang. Find the boy! Looks like a back door to me. See, why would that woman take Clyde and Sky to a nuclear power station? I don't know. But you've seen the effect she has on anything electrical. Imagine what could happen there. Come on, we may not have much time. See, a baby will always find her mother. Give her to me. No! What are you gonna do to her? Take her home, of course. She is the savior of my kind. She will be the stuff of legend. Now give her to me! Hide! Hide, run! Oh, ah! oh boy! The flesh well must be destroyed. No! Look back! I won't let you hurt this child! She is no child. She is a weapon. And she is unprimed. She isn't ready for this. You have doomed us all. What's going on? Sky's energy is flooding out of Yes, the weapon is priming itself. Your presence has activated it. The doom of the metal kind is come. The weapon will do its job. And you're going to help me. Wire him up. This is where you live. I remember. What, you remember when you were a baby? Well, it was only about half an hour ago. Why do you call a man who wears paper trousers Russell? I beg your pardon? Hmm? It was a joke. It was meant to be funny, you know. It was supposed to make her laugh. Boy, does this feel familiar. You were telling her jokes. I was only trying to stop her from crying. By making her laugh. You know what she does when she laughs. I like to sit the sleeve. You have to be there. Like... Everything's so green. Well, this is England. It rains most of the time. Sky, do you remember being brought here? Do you remember by whom? You were the first thing I remember. Oh, I see. Well, now that you're grown up, can you control your powers? I think so. Then you've got to promise me that you will, because I need you to meet a friend of ours. Welcome to the Bat Cave. There's a cave on top of the house. It's not a cave. It's an attic. Clyde was joking again. He does that. Sort of. Mr. Smith, I need you. What's going on? It's all right. Sky won't hurt you. Is the child under control? It's all right. I promise. Who are you? I am a Zylog, a crystalline life form with highly sensitive cybernetic interfaces. I would be grateful if you remain distant. But can we still be friends? Provided my circuits remain intact. Sky has undergone a metamorphosis. I need you to make sure she's unharmed. But don't worry, it won't hurt. 
Scanning. It tickles. Please, try not to laugh. Mr. Smith, stop fussing and analyze the scan. Biologically, Sky appears to be a healthy 12-year-old child. 12? Is that a good age? Well, until the spots start. Ronnie, right, take Sky, have a look through Luke's things. See if we can find us something to wear. Sure. Come on, Sky. Mr. Smith, how did she transform into a teenager? Sky's synthetic DNA was programmed for this level of maturity to maximize her effectiveness. As a weapon. As a bomb. Full activation would not only destroy Miss Maya's enemies across the universe, but also kill Sky. Is Sarah Jane Luke's mother? Yeah. She adopted him. But Luke was made by aliens that wanted to take over Earth. I like her. It's beautiful. Noisy. Smelly. <laughs> yeah. It's all that. This must be so weird for you. Like, seeing the world for the first time. Everyone else, will they just sort of grow up with it? It's exciting. Try these. Now, they're not exactly fashion, but you'll be all right. What's fashion? Well, clothes, like wearing nice clothes made for a girl. What's a girl? Hmm. Well, Clyde thought he had it tough with Luke. OK. Now let's log on to Ronipedia. The portal has opened. The middle kind come to their death. I have to save you, Sarah Jane. I have to save her. Right. What's all this about? It looks like a big arcade game. This is what controls the nuclear fuel rods. Oh, so it's like a James Bond movie. You pull out the rods, close the reactor and save the world. Only this is like James Bond meets Mario. Which is ace because I'm brilliant at Mario. If we don't get this right, Clyde, we don't just go back to the last level. Wait, it's not coming out. It's not working. Clyde, don't let them use you. It's why I am Sarah Jane. You're not a weapon, not if you don't want to be. You're a child, a beautiful, innocent child. Remember what I told you, it's wrong to kill. And what are we doing wrong? What? We've got to remove them in order, two at a time. Order? What order? What is the spectrum? Richard of York gave battle in vain. What? Just do it. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Come on! We haven't got much time! We get this house rewired. Emergency lighting activated. What have you done? We did it. We shut down the core. What happened? Well, that energy had to go somewhere. This guy was like a lightning rod. She absorbed it all. Is she gonna be all right? Right. I feel... I feel different. You are different. I can feel it too. That energy backlash, it's destroyed your genetic programming. You mean I'm not a weapon? Not even a pea shooter. I have lost my daughter. 
He saved me. And I'm not a bum anymore. Thank you. <laughs> I saved some energy just for you, fresh kinds. I'm too tired to think of clever answers for awkward questions. Come on, let's go home. What's the weather forecast for today, then? Raining cats and dogs? Sunny and bright, apparently, but a halibut in sight. Mr Smith hasn't been able to find anything to suggest an alien energy, so maybe for once we can stand down. Do you want to meet a hero who never stands down? <laughs> the silver bullet. Did you do this? Of course. What do you think? It's good. It's really good. Is this what you want to do? I mean, after school. Yeah, well, drawing's about the only thing I'm any good at, so... Oh, don't do yourself down. You're bright. There's no doubt. Art really is your thing. <laughs> and I love comics, so I thought, why not? Look out, Stan Lee. Here comes Clyde Langer. I mean, the rocket scientist or whatever's fine if you're a super brain like Luke, but me... What do you mean, super brain? Well, he is, isn't he? He's a genius. Yeah, but the way you say it, it's, it's, it's a bad thing, so there's something wrong with him. No, sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Luke's my best mate. Are you all right? No. To be honest, I'm sick and tired of the way you're always making fun of my son. Sorry, Jim, what's going on? Since you first showed up, all you've ever done is tell him how uncool he was, what a geek he was, what a freak he was. And all the while, you're wasting your time with rubbish like this. My son is worth a hundred of you, and I've had just about as much as I'm going to take. Sorry, Jane. Get out now. Take a stupid comic book with you. What's going on? I don't get it. Get out! This is crazy! You want crazy? I'll give you crazy! Hey! What's going on? Yes, Sarah Jane, she's just gone completely mental. What? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, Clyde Langer. You get away from me! What? Leave my daughter alone. What's going on? What did I do? I, I didn't do anything. Dad, you keep him away from me. Ronnie, we're mates. Keep away from her. You're no friend of my daughter. But this is mad. We're friends, Ronnie. You're mad if you think I'd be any friend of yours. I hate you! Ronnie? I'll give you ten seconds. I don't want you anywhere near my daughter. Is that understood? And as far as school goes, you're excluded. You can't do that. But something's got at you, both of you. And Seraphine. I don't know what it is, but none of it's real. Can you just think about it, please? I haven't done anything. You're out of time. You come anywhere near me again, and I'm calling the police. All right. I'm gone, but there's something going on here, and I'm going to fix it. Oh, you do what you like, but I don't want to see you again. Not ever! Been just out. Why? 
You're always lying about where you've been, what you've been doing. No, Mum, more lies. Always lies. Mum, whatever you're thinking, it's not real, OK? It's my name. You've seen my name on a letter. Somehow it's, it's messing with your head. Don't touch me. How can I ever trust you? Always skulking around, keeping secrets. But this isn't real. I haven't done anything. I don't want you here. I don't want to look at you. I don't want to hear you. I know I feel like I've had my soul torn out of me. I didn't do this. It's not my fault. And tell me what it is I've done. Tell me what I've liked. You can't, can you? You can't because it's all a trick. You've all been tricked. You, Sarah Jane, Ronnie, everybody. Yeah, I was tricked all right. Life tricked me the day you were born. I've had enough now and I want you out of here. Out of my life! No, you, you don't mean that. Mum, I love you. Please don't do this. Police, open up. Don't hit me. And you wonder why I want you out of my life? I haven't done anything. It's the curse. It's taking everything over. He's through there. We're not alone, though, are we? We've got each other. Oh, Clyde, you are brilliant. We're Team Sarah Jane. Energy. Stop saying that! It is conceivable. None of this makes sense, Sky. You turning your back on Clyde doesn't make sense. Even his mum's thrown him out. She feels just the same way you and Ronnie feel. Like something's been torn out of her life. And she can't remember what it is. <laughs> well, it isn't him. I hate him. Why, Ronnie? Think about it. You both love Clyde. You would never turn your backs on him. The only way this could happen is some alien messing with your heads. Clyde needs us. Stop saying that name, please! Sarah Jane, your reaction to his name suggests that Sky is correct. You have been subjected to a psychophonic programming, possibly designed to keep Clyde isolated. Well, say that's true. Why? Because Hatakuntek needs Clyde. What if he's found a way to escape? The longer Clyde's out there, the more powerful it's getting. The legend said that if the totem pole fell back into the hands of men, then Hetakumtek would escape. Hands of men? Clyde got a splinter. It's a curse and you've got to break it. Her name just the sound of it. It's agony. It hurts. His name's the key. His mum couldn't say it. Maybe if you can, it'll break the curse. Oh, good. 
You've got to. We've got to find Clyde. It's the only way of stopping her to contact escaping. We can do this, Ronnie. Well, it's, it's just the name. We can say it, right? street artist. We could go up to Covent Garden or somewhere and people will pay to have their portraits drawn. On the back of old paper bags? <laughs> well, no, I'll get a drawing pad. I've already got the pencils. I'm telling you, Ellie, we can do this. We can get off the streets together. Stay here. I'm gonna go get us a coffee to share. I feel like celebrating. Okay. Jane. Ronnie? Museum. Bringing Totem Pole to the attic. Now. The psychophonic curse must be reversed. Do as I told you, Clyde. Now! Let's try Stephen's point. Her name's Ellie. 16, 17 with a, a green coat. Have you seen the scarf? Have you seen Ellie? No, sorry, no. Have you seen the scarf? 
she was the only friend I had when you all turned on me. And now she thinks I abandoned her like everyone else, but I haven't. I won't, not ever. I will find her. I know, Clyde. I just can't believe after all the things we've seen, the most alien world of all is right here. And no one knows because they don't want to. Mate, have you seen this girl? No. All right. Thanks anyway. We can find her, can't we? I mean, we've got Mr. Smith. We find aliens. We help them get home right across the universe. We can help Ellie, can't we? We can find her. Clyde, look. Ellie Faber. It wasn't her name. She just took it off some old poster. Night Dragon took her. What, that was the Night Dragon? A truck? Comes by every so often. The drivers will sometimes give you a lift. Glasgow, Dublin, France, Germany. They go all over the place. It's another chance. That's why people go. She meant a lot to you, didn't she? Come on. Let's go home. Oh, welcome home. Hi, Mum. <laughs> oh. Hi, Clarny. <laughs> Don't call us that. Clarny? Who's Clarny? Clyde, Ronnie, Clarny. Oh, it's meant to be funny. <laughs> we can't keep away. Luke, meet Sky in person. Sky. Hi. Hi, Sky. You're taller than you look on webcam. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I just went in your room. I forgot it's not mine anymore. It's the best room and you don't live here anymore. It's fine. It's really fine. Hey! Finally. Face to face. It's a clash of the nerds. Sky, behold my greatest success, Frank and Bane's monster, now a normal human student living off pot noodles and rising at 12 sharp to watch loose women. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> Sky, I really hope we can be friends. Of course we'll be friends. I suppose we're sort of brother and sister. Tea? Yeah. <laughs> well, I had to leave canine back at uni. But look, I made this. Dog whistle, because you never know. What's he doing up there? He's backing up the Bodleian Library, the whole lot. He wouldn't come back with me. Oh, good. Nurse me, what a terrible shame. Oi, Mr. Smith, don't be nasty. We could always swap you for another computer, like the surfboard. I hardly think that would be a good exchange. Well, it's the launch this afternoon at five. An affordable device. Excuse me, did I say device? I Nobody mean, knows what Frank. it does when you switch it on. The rumours say everything. There's a rehearsal of the launch this morning. Just three of the country's very top journalists have been invited to watch. Do you know any of them? Could you let blaggers in? Um, I said just the top journalists have been invited. Yeah, so what if we swap a ticket? I mean, me. Me. What do you think pays for all this? Taking in washing? Sorry, I just didn't think it was your kind of a story. Yeah, almost good enough, Ronnie. I am not going to miss that. Oh, who said you're going to miss it? Homecoming treat. <gasps> I'm not going to miss it either. Well, fine, yeah, sure, you can come too, Sky. And? Oh, I'm sorry, that's all I could manage. Well, I shouldn't really be taking anybody else. It's highly unprofessional. So unfair. Oh, sorry, Clarny. Family outing. <laughs> Basically, we blab anything about the surfboard before the actual release, and they sue us to death. But what if I disagree with the terms and conditions? They're fine. Just sign it. Believe me, if he says they're fine, they're fine. Whatever you say. Sarah Chain Smith. Let me drink you in, as lovely as ever. Oh, Luke Sky, Lionel Carson. An old, old friend. I could have been so much more. Now I am a ruin. <laughs> you remain a paragon. Lionel was my editor when I first started on the Nationals, and then he moved on to food and wine. So why are you covering the surfboard, Mr. Carson? I pulled rank. 
to impress my grandchildren. I've met the great Mr. Surf. I leave the technical stuff to you young people. I can't abide computers. Nothing wrong with a typewriter, says I. What's a typewriter? Goodness me. Make me feel even more old-fashioned, why don't you? Oh, you were already old-fashioned when I was newfangled. <laughs> my son and my daughter. Sorry to keep you waiting. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John Harrison, Surf Systems Public Relations. The uh, rehearsal is about to begin, so if you'd like to follow me up. Well, that's us. Would you care to accompany me, O oh, Radiant One, in memory of what might have been? Oh, go on then. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, Miss Smith. Smile! Joseph, are you all right? Dialogue! Dialogue! Keep up! Keep up! Keep up! Keep up! We all say thongs, we don't moan. Spelling! Spelling! Forgive me. Things we don't mean. Keep shadowing, sick! And smile again! Thoughtful smile, not sexy smile! It's incredible. They're controlling it. Everything he says and does, it's them. What else do you want to know? Uh, oh! Um, Spirit! Emergency stand! Steady on bunk! And one, two, three, and up! Quick side break, quick side break! I'm so sorry. What a clumsy clot you are, Miss Smith. You're one of our country's most famously shrewd journalist is, apparently, such a lovable scatterbrain. Well, Miss Moth. <laughs> Miss Smith. What else do you want to know? Well, I just hope I can stop embarrassing myself for a start. Hypno to ten. Hypno power to ten! Hypno power to ten! She must trust! She must trust! You love the surfboard, Sarah Jane. It's the most amazing computer you've ever seen. Stronger, Hypno! Stronger, Hypno! <laughs> And I am the most amazing man you've ever seen. Yes, yes, you're such a handsome man, Mr. Sir. But I'm an old hand at hypnotism, and when it comes to men, I actually prefer something I can grab hold of. Gotcha! Failure! Let's go to failed! Failed! Stand down! Await orders! This... It's alien technology. And it's pretty erratic. Alien technology? You mean something that's not made on this planet? Like this. One false move, Miss Smith, and you are dead. No! No! Intruder! <laughs> She's my sister! She's just a child! Please! 
In just two hours' time, the surfboard will be revealed to the world right here at Surf Systems. The eyes of the world will be on this building. After months of rumours, leaks, some say deliberate leaks and endless speculation, we'll finally get the answers revealed by the secretive Mr Joseph Surf. That was the latest news transmission. We've got to get over there and go to the launch. We can take Luke's car. Clyde, it's the media event of the century. We can't just gate-crash it like it's Adam Jenkins' party. Give me a minute. Mr Smith, access Surf Systems Hospitality. Get your best clothes on. Accessing initiated. Move! Logging in to Surf Internet. through Harrison's pet. We can't do anything to help the slaves until we get it off him. If we could tell Clyde and Rani, get them to grab it. How? They've destroyed our phones. What about your dog whistle? Canine's miles away. He'd never hear it. He's too far away. We've got to think of something. What about Mr. Smith? Could he hear it? Yes! Yes! You are so my sister. Ronnie, come on, the launch starts in and out. Oh, you, you look great. Ah, I've done it. Ahem. We have done it. Whatever. OK, we're in. Trevor and Janet Sharp. Trevor? Do I look like a Trevor? Although I am sharp. Oh, they're consumer journalists from Twilight Years magazine for the over 60s. Geriatric news. Can you have got anything any better? Well, they're the only ones on the guest list that won't turn up. Mr. and Mrs. Sharp are stranded at Orly Airport thanks to a <clears throat> computer malfunction. Mr. and Mrs. Oh, yeah, and they're uh, married. Right, right. The cavalry's coming and it's me and the Mrs., my old duck. <laughs> Shut up, Clyde. Come on. Wait a moment. I'm picking up a high frequency modulated signal in Morse code. Brilliant. The transmission is on the command frequency of K9. It must be Luke. Oh, the whistle. Oh, it's a trap. How do we know it's Luke for sure? Deciphering. Message begins. Clarny. Yeah, that's Luke. Grab Harrison's P E N full stop. I've been so glad to see a full stop. But what does it mean? What what it says? Grab his pen. Step away from them! You're too late. Say that to stop you. You and who's on? Mom, that army! We go now. Thank you! Thank you! You good people! Harrison. Set him to work, I hope. That is amazing! Uh, amazing! Uh, 
Who's this again? I'm just the cleaner. I mean, I was the cleaner. I have no job now. So, so you people, you do this all the time. That's wonderful. Give this lot a call. Mention my name. You're just the kind of agent they need nowadays. Put them back on the right track. And the pay will be very good. I'll make sure of that. The surfboard has failed to live up to the hype, and Joseph Surf has disappeared after That's the most enough, disappointing Mr. launch in the history. Well, I'm certainly not disappointed. No, oh, poor Mr. Surf. The real Mr. Surf. Nobody will ever know what really happened to him. Done it. Oh, Sky, could you get me that CD you promised me, please? Sure, wait me a second. What are you two up to? A thing. Sorry, Sarah Jane, it's a family thing. <laughs> Hi, Sky. What's going on? Present you... for you. Got Clyde to do it. For me? Well, it's your room, isn't it? It's great. Nothing's too good for my sister. Come in. I've seen amazing things out there in space. But strange things can happen wherever you are. I have learned that life on Earth can be an adventure too. Mom, oh, look! In all the universe, I never expected to 